Hey guys, welcome back. Orbum here. I'm bringing you my Purple Chaos Gallant Mon deck list. My Chaos Control, as I like to call it. Uh, purple list. I'm very excited about this list. Uh, you guys were voted for this as the list you guys wanted to see the most. So I've been working on this list extra hard. There's a whole lot of variants I made. I want to start with this one first. Uh, this one is the Beelzemon version. But I can very easily tell you that if you don't want to play Beelzemon, you can cut the Antmons into Beelzemon. Pretty much add any other seven consistency cards you'd like. Um, I only like playing Beelzemon because I like to turbo out into Omnimon Zwart while also adding a little bit more control aspect to it and milling so that I can make, make the most out of my Jack Raid as well as quickly as possible. So I really like the whole combo you have between uh, Beelzemon. Beelzemon takes care of level four. Uh, Chaos takes care of level five. This Hell's Gate can take care of level 6, although I definitely want another one. We'll talk about that as we can do the deck build. And then of course, Zwart D can take care of any Digimon on deletion, and more importantly, can delete Tamers, which is a huge problem because that, that blue Tamer, that so uh, Sora and Joe Tamer, is kind of insane. Uh, it's kind of a crazy card, so being able to get rid of that card on the board, as well as be able to just like, you know, delete. You can delete yourself in situations with Chaos Gallimon and... Uh, destroy any digital on the board as well which is really really cool um so we're gonna go over the deck build real quick i'll explain all the cards then i have two really quick matches i fast forwarded them so they're only gonna be five minutes each it's really really good matches too versus hexablaumon like omni blue uh a little bit more of a kind of like disruptive version as opposed to like super aggro um which has been kind of like this deck's auto loss because it takes advantage of the fact that we like to be we like to be digimon without any evolution sources you know, just because we have access to Digiburst here, which leaves us with no evolution sources. They can easily discard our evolution sources. Um, we like to summon a lot of level threes on the board hard with the Galios Gallons Mons ability, which then, of course, if you guys don't know Sora, Sora and Joe give you plus two memory for uh, every, if you start, if they start your turn with you having a Digimon with no evolution sources. So you really want to avoid that. That can add up if they have multiple Soras on the board. It's kind of insane. <laughs> so uh, even with that matchup, we managed to work around it, and I, I can't wait to show you guys the matches. But first things first, um, we can take a look at all the cards and all of our options while we're doing this. But uh, we have pretty standard, uh, pretty standard level twos here, and the guy over here that gives ooh, proxy piece. The guy over here that gives you draw one, discard one to fuel a discard pile, and this one gives us vengeance. I decided to cut the the devimon that gave you uh i guess it's called retaliation because honestly <laughs> i really need to turbo up into the uh, into the um chaos gallantmon so it was really useful at first but then i slowly stopped using its ability to destroy anything on the board because i already had other digimon that could destroy most things on the board regardless so it lo slowly lost its luster into the point where I was just like, you know what? I'd rather just turbo up into my Digimon rather than play it. As far as the rest of these cards go, um, you gain power whenever something gets deleted. I mean, it's it's cool and all. Being able to gain power is good for your Chaos Gallimon because you attack the security usually twice in this deck a turn. So being able to be a little bit stronger is kind of nice. But overall, I kind of do still like the retaliation. Plus, we can fuel our discard pile because we are playing the likes of four Impmon just to evolve into Bielzmon. These are the rookies I decide to play. This one draws you a card. I very rarely use this to draw a card, but it still exists. Being able to draw is always good. So there's that. I use this card a lot to gain memory. Uh, it makes evolving into Chaos Gallimon pretty much a three cost a lot of the time because you delete this thing to gain a memory. Uh, you can delete this all the time to reduce the cost of your stuff, which is really nice. Gazimon, because purple has a memory tamer, a memory option, blue has a memory option, yellow has a memory option. There's a lot of memory options out there. So being able to, you know, stop them from gaining memory. And the Hexablaumon deck too, uh, outside of just this tamer, like they have things like Pseudomon and, um, that new blue rookie that can gain you memory from discarding evolution sources, which is always annoying. So those are the these are my rookies of choice. Only 14, but 14 is really all you need. Uh, you got Viomon here. You got two Marimon. Uh, being our one cost is what I replaced Devimon with because we really want the cheap evolution cost in this deck. And then we have four of the blocker Devimon as well. So, you know, just there doing its thing. Uh, one card that's in here now, but could very easily be cut if you want to, is Chimeramon. There's actually a lot of level fives in purple that are really interesting to play. I still like Chimeramon. I still use it quite a bit. But 
you know, if you have your game plan rolling, you really don't need Chimeramon. I used to play it because I used to play Omnimon Zwart, but I cut out Zwart for Zwart D because Zwart D has been infinitely more useful than Zwart uh, because I'm not playing. Whenever I was playing it with Lilithmon, Zwart D was good or Zwart was good because with Lilithmon, I'm able to gain a whole lot of memory and that memory means I can use Zwart's effect and also attack with it on the same turn because I was able to really ramp up memory. But that was such a huge combo that it just really felt unnecessary. I had to find the Lilithmon, the Jax Raid, have enough cards in the trash for Jax Raid to be effective and then use the Lilithmon to get the Jax Raids back, gain extra memory from using the Jax Raid on top of just on top of Lilithmon and then hopefully have around six memory evolve into my Zord D, then I could pull off the combo of getting Chimeramon plus, uh, I guess I really need a five memory because I get Chimeramon plus Gilmon, use Chimeramon's ability to pop the Gilmon to pop one of my opponent's level fives or lower and also gain a memory at the same time. You can see that's a combo. Now when it works, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't always work. So I decided to go a little bit more the consistent route, which is why you're playing seeing the Beelzebub because this card is just so much better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, not to mention, it makes a really good security option because you can just you can just hit the board. Then you can delete it yourself with Chaos Galamon if you need to. Of course, you don't always have to. You can always just attack with it until it gets deleted on its own. Um, but if you're looking to pop a Digimon immediately, you can pop it with your Chaos Galamon combined with your Black War Gralmon's ability here. Uh, but anyways, I am also playing Black War Gramon. Did you rest to summon another level three, which is nice? And of course, uh, the ability is really, really good. Uh, when attacking, you can delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon. So the whole combo is that you have Black War Gramon under your Chaos Gallantmon. You attack with Chaos Gallantmon. You pop something to unsuspend, so you can attack again. And because you popped one of your Digimon, you can uh, summon another level three from your trash. So you instantly replace that Digimon with any other level three you'd like. Uh, which is another reason why I'm kind of interested in putting back Gabumon in the list because Gabumon lets you draw more cards but because <laughs> I don't know man it just I just felt like for Gabumon's effect to really work you have to evolve and then when I evolve my Gabumon I don't want to pop it anymore so I don't <laughs> I don't I don't really want to pop it anymore I'd rather just evolve it up into the Chaos Gabumon so it's one of those things where I'm just like eh like it works sometimes for like nice draws but because it's such a weird concept to evolve your Gabumon just to pop it, I decided to cut it all together. Uh, it also means I had more room to play more of these insta-pop cards or something as useful as... Uh, this card's been really good whenever it's whenever I play in the right matchup, so... If you don't like the Gazimon, you can replace it with Gabumon or really any other level 3. You can place it with some 2-drops as well. 2-drop Vanillas are pretty good just because you can put more Digimon on the board to threaten game. Um... So yeah, that's what, I've, that's what I've chosen now. But one thing that we can look at here is some of the level fives in purple, because there's so many good level fives that I'm not playing. You could very easily play. One of them is Wergurumon. Because of how strategy, how good the the, the Black Galgamon, or was it Black uh, Black War Gralmon is, you can play this as like a fifth or sixth option. I was playing it as a fifth option. I find that I'm able, because of like how consistent purple is with its drawing, uh, I've been able to find this card pretty consistently. I played like 15, 20 games with this deck against blue, against green, and against red. Um, I've been able to find this card pretty consistently and win, win my matches with it. So uh, I decided to cut this card. Other cards you can play, you have the two drops and the five drop or two Evo five drop cards you can play just to consistently get up your Digimon. It's always nice. One big one that I was playing for a while that I liked was Lady Devimon. You could easily, I think if I were to put a card back, it would be this one. It really helps turbo your strategy. It also helps you draw cards. So I like Lady Devimon a lot in this list. I still like Chimeramon, but I'm definitely like 50-50 about which one I want more. Or if I maybe I just want to squeeze in a few Lady Devimons just in general, in case you're interested in taking out the Beelzebub strategy, you could very easily squeeze in some Lady Devimons, maybe like put in a few Lilithmons as well. Uh, Lady Devimon also means when you play an option card, you can delete more level threes. So it's another removal option if it's underneath one of your Digimon as well, because we already play a lot of op different option cards here. We are rocking with nine option cards in this list. So, you know, more control, more draw, but being able to just instantly pop cards on the board with uh, with Chimeramon also being a hard job that you can easily, you know, put on the board, remove some cards on the board, proc a bunch of effects and then evolve into Chaos Gaumon or Beelzebub to remove even more cards on the board the next turn is really good. But it's definitely a preferential card. You can easily replace this with the Lady Devimon or really any other level five you like. There's a lot, there's a lot of good level fives. For Turbo, you can play the Skullmaramon. 
things like that. You could even put in the Cerberus Mon package. I'm choosing not to, because uh, that's like an eight card package. I'm not really interested in playing. But that's another package we're looking for a really aggressive purple version. Um, Cerberus Mon being able to draw two cards when deleted, and then um, the Cerberus Mon Werewolf mode to have Rush on play and then you delete your Cerberus Mon to gain memory, it's nine memory. So you're essentially playing this card for free while also having Rush. Pretty good, but not really what I'm looking for in this deck. And of course, we already talked about the level sixes, uh, insane cards. If you guys don't know Beelzemon, you can evolve on top of the um, Immon for four memory if they ha if you have 10 cards in your trash, which is why we turbo up our trash. And then we have Cast Galmon. Whenever one of your level three Digimon get deleted, whenever one of your Digimon get deleted, you can summon a level three from your trash onto the board. And then when did you evolve delete a Digimon that's level five or lower? And then we have Omnimon Zwart Defeat uh, Security. Uh, the Digimon doesn't get destroyed during the battle, but you do get to summon it. And then when you did evolve, you delete a Tamer, which has been excellent. There's so many good Tamers now. <laughs> tamers are insane in decks nowadays. So being able to delete Tamers will can really help swing the game for you. And of course, you have on deletion you know, delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Any Digimon on the board gets deleted. Very good ability. Jack Ray to gain memory so that we can we can push up our Chaos Gaumon plays. It's the only reason why we really play it. We only played a three of because they are really annoying early game, so we don't want to play four. I can see you cutting this down to a two of as well, just kind of saving them for like big plays. Uh, because once again, they are really annoying early game. That's why I cut them down to three. And if you see a lot of people play these memory uh, disruption Digimon like Gazimon, then this card is kind of dead in that matchup. But then again, it's kind of not dead because we have so many removal cards. Hell's Gate removes your level sixes or higher because that's one thing we don't really have in this deck is way to remove level sixes. This is like giving me big Terraforce drag, um, Terraforce vibes, but it's only six memory, which is a really cheap cost. I could definitely see putting this up to a four count. It just depends on how much I want to, uh, depends on what I feel like cutting at the end of the day in this deck. But Hell's Gate, very good for putting you right back in the game, honestly. Uh, Hell's Gate is great. And Death Claw here, delete one of your Digimon to delete one of your opponents level four. Lower Digimon, way to get rid of blockers. Only one memory, which is kind of big. Main reason why we played is because of procs off Chaos Gaumon's effect, while also being only one memory. Free if you delete your own Gilmon. Uh, you can draw more cards with Tapiermon to put three more cards in your trash. Like it just procs all these effects from being destroyed, which is what you want to do in this case, and gets rid of some Digimon on the board before they become annoying. Uh, I really like this deck. <clears throat> I've been having a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna keep testing it, keep playing different builds. Uh, there's a lot of different builds that I've been working with, but for now, this is the one I felt like showcasing because it's the one I've been working on the most. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what changes you would make. Do you guys want to? Do you guys think the Mega Dramon combo is really that useful? I don't like the Mega Dramon combo. Uh, Mega Dr I think it's how you spell it. Yeah. This one lets you summon, if you have a Tamer on board, which, which you have to have a Tamer on board too, so it's more combo, right? But if you have a Tamer on board, um, you can summon a Gallantmon, a Digimon with Gallantmon in its name from your hand or trash without paying its memory cost. It's got a little bit more of that milling aspect because both players mill, which is really good disruption for your opponent, right? Disrupting your opponent's cards by trashing their deck is really, really good. It's only three to play, to evolve, I mean, yeah. but um <laughs> like that's pretty much all you're doing right you're, you're controlling their deck which is really random while you can just control the board you don't get any wind did evolving effects whenever you play your chaos galmon your galmons either both of them have really good like removal effects by did evolving which is kind of what you want to you know worry about <clears throat> and you have to be deleted which is hard to control unless you delete it yourself and if you delete it yourself it's, it kind of feels like a waste that you evolve to a level six just to play down another level six that you could have been evolving into anyways. <sighs> yeah, it, uh, I'm not really a huge fan of this card. And once again, you have to have a Tamer on board. I'm not playing a Tamer in this deck. You can put in cards like Matt. Uh, I've never had problems with memory so far, but you could easily put in some um, Tamer, some, some memory Tamers or some other Tamers such as the new Tuck. I think it's, what's it, what's that? I don't remember his name. <laughs> the, the new white tamer that's really good. But I can never remember his name. Um, Aiba? 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 Takumi. 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 I haven't played this game in so long, man. Uh, you could easily play Takumi just to, you know, stop rookies from attacking. You actually like attacking with your rookies if you have extra rookies on board. So it's really kind of like a double-edged sword on your end because you actually swarm the board with rookies quite a bit sometimes. Um, it also gives you extra draw. So it's kind of nice, but once again, eh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. But anyways, uh, 
I guess we can stop this deck profile part now. Let's go ahead and move right on into the games. Alright guys, we have game one here versus my buddy Unlucky13. These two games that we're going to showcase are going to be against him because these are the games I was actually recording. Um, but he's going to start with the Zudomon here. He's playing that blue deck I was talking about earlier with uh, Hexoblamon, the card that lets you stop, uh, that lets you jam and stop your opponent from attacking if they have no Digivolution sources, which is really awkward for us. We're gonna go ahead, he gave us seven memory to work with, which is hopefully gonna build us up into a really strong Chaos Gallimon. We already have like the whole chain in our hand technically, but I'm debating if I want to evolve into Chaos Gallimon now. If I do, I don't get the, the wind deletion effect, and I also don't get to use Digiburst. So I'm hoping to get all these effects off early enough before he gets down his Sora and Joe Tamer. These decks are playing high Tamer counts, and this deck is no exception. I can't wait to give you guys a profile over this deck. This deck is pretty crazy. He already evolved into it, but you know, that means I won't be able to attack or block with this <laughs> one without sources. So my blocker on board is kind of worthless, but I think I'm just going to delete him, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this now. I don't have any rookies in hand. There's no real reason for me to get this guy on board. I'm just going to delete him while I can, um, you know, <laughs> get rid of all of his hard work. He seems to be having a rough start. No rookie yet. This deck does play uh, 13 or 14 rookies and um, a few of those new fish Digimon that are only three costs to play. But he has another Zudomon in hand. This time I'm going to leave me with two memory. But now is a good time for me to put this up because I can easily delete it with my Chaos Gallantmon. Um... He hasn't had the tamer down yet, so I don't want to waste this Omnimon's work. We're going to go ahead and use the Digiburst now just to summon the other guy on the board, onto the board. And now we can gain a memory when deleting him here. Um, so yeah, so now it would cost it four, but now we go down to one because of the Gilmon. And get to summon him right back on the board. So <laughs> leaving my opponent with one memory with three Digimon on board. Looking pretty good for us. <laughs> so we'll see if we can take advantage of this. Yeah, this is the control aspect I love about this deck. It's got so much aggression as well as control. And whenever we attack, we could delete one of our we could delete one of our own Digimon to restand and then proc the effects of all of our cards on the board, uh, gaining a memory from Gilmon, as well as uh you know uh whoops. But yeah. All this stuff I just said. <laughs> Sorry, something came up on screen. But yeah, he, he managed to put down the Sora, which is really, really bad for us. But I think we'll be able to survive. Shouldn't be a big deal here. We just delete the Tamer. Uh, we can delete the Tamer if we need to. You know, this turn, we get to gain a memory, attack, summon it right back. Uh, there's a security check. We get to attack again if we want to. Or I could evolve first. Uh, both plays are fine, I suppose. One thing, I, the one thing I don't like about the Beelzemon in this deck, because I was talking about how much I liked it in the deck profile, and I do still like it, but sometimes they do become like, they're like early bricks sometimes, which is why I'm debating whether I want to play them or not, but they're still pretty good. We get the attack off, uh, we have a dude on board. If like worst comes to shove and he plays another Digimon down, we can delete it ourselves with Deathclaw. The cool thing about option cards and Digimon is I'm going to go ahead and pass here because I don't want to give my opponent too much memory. I don't really have anything in my hand to do. But uh, the cool thing about Digimon is that you can play option cards even if you have no valid targets just to manipulate your own memory. So um, I can play Deathclaw to delete one of my Digimon and not delete any of my opponent's Digimon. I can play Chimeramon to delete one of my Digimon and not play my, not delete my opponent's Digimon because they don't have a target. Things like that. It's pretty handy, memory manipulation, and more importantly, we can delete our own uh, Zwart D here to delete one of my opponent's Digimon if they don't have a level 4 lower, that kind of stuff. Got a rookie now, we're pretty good. Excuse me. Mm. Get to restand myself. He summoned a blocker here, we can just attack, he's going to choose to block it now. I'm going to delete my own guy to restand and also gain a memory. Uh, block again, or attack again I believe, here. Okay, he's got Hammer Spark, no big deal there. Now I, have delight, now I have all these dudes in my hand. I'm not really sure what I want to do with them. I could go ahead and start evolving into another Chaos Galamon if I really want to. Uh, this deck is, this is the list. Oh yeah, this is, oh, I forgot about this. This is the one game I played where I still had the Zord D before I took it out. Uh, that Zord D is supposed to be the Zord defeated now. Just think about it like that. Before I played like a 3-1 split, now I'm playing the 4-4 four, four line shouldn't affect this game too much but yeah i was just deciding that i don't like this card in the deck anymore so i took it out after this game i remember now uh, but anyways he has the level five not really much he could do at this point i pretty much have game on board uh, i don't think he's anything he can do at this point yeah i think we just attack shouldn't be a big deal here i should attack with my guys before i attack with Zord d just so i can delete them just in case 
or if maybe he has a hammer spark and security that could be kind of annoying and then they speak of the devil <laughs> there it is yeah i was thinking like maybe i should tackle my other guys and delete the other guys that did attack just a guaranteed game because if i had that um Gazimon on board that hammer spark wouldn't have, wouldn't have existed for my opponent i would have still won the game because he wouldn't be able to gain memory but at this point of the game it doesn't really matter he's discarding my evolution sources that doesn't really change much um it does actually because i can't attack if this guy's on board but I, I have the removal option in my hand i believe no i don't but i do have the i do have the um death claw to delete my own omnimon to delete him if i need to as well He's just deciding what else he wants to do this turn, proccing any effects he might have. And he's gonna evolve into Omnimon and delete this guy. But <laughs> I just go ahead and attack here for turn and GG. And that's gonna be game one. Let's move on to the second game. I'm gonna go first. I wanna showcase going first and going second. Um, but here we're just gonna go ahead and evolve up into Marimon. Another reason why Marimon's so good, that memory choke is delicious, nutritious, absolutely tasty. Uh, but this deck should be the completed correct version. There shouldn't be too many differences, like I said earlier, but let's see what we can go on. Let's see what we got going on here. Leaving me with two memory. What do I have in my hand? No level fives yet, but I am going to go ahead and bring that up, up and just hard play this guy. So no hammer sparks from my opponent in case I need them. Let's see if he has the uh, big boy, the Hexablaumon already. Is that what it's called? Hexa? I think that's what it's called. But he summons the Sora, which is already bad for me. That card is so good against this deck. <laughs> it's kind of insane. The, really deciding which one I want to evolve into. It's really hard sometimes. We did draw the Beelzemon now though. Uh, so, see the thing is, Chaos Gaumon revives the Emmon and then you evolve the Emmon into the uh, Beelzemon. So we're actually pretty happy that we have this now. Um, but now I'm in this awkward position where do I want to Digiburst? Because if I do and I end my turn with this rookie in hand, my opponent gets to start with two more memory in their hand. So I kind of want to avoid that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to activate my skills. I'm just going to go ahead and evolve into this, delete his Digimon on the board and not summon the, or do I want to summon the Digimon back? Okay, I am going to summon the Digimon back because it feels early enough in the game and he has nothing on board to where I don't think I'll be too punished if I give him six memory. I could be very much punished, but I'm hoping that because I'm giving him six memory hard and, uh, he can't use Hammer Spark if this guy is on the board. He shouldn't be able to evolve into an Omnimon out of nowhere. Uh, he would need a two plus three, plus one is three, plus two is five, plus another three at least, um, which is eight. So he shouldn't have enough unless he has Hammer Spark and he can't use him. So he hard drops the, this dude and this dude is terrifying for me. <laughs> um, there's a lot of Chaos Gammons in hand, but let's see what we can do here. So all my dudes have sources for the time being, so they can all attack and block until he attacks. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy just to gain the memory. Summon it right back and mill. So we're going to go ahead and draw one, one, discard one first. Although you should, I probably should argue that I should have milled first, but uh, I guess I forgot to mill. Which sucks for me because I want to mill. Yeah, that's my bad. I did forget to mill altogether because I summoned him right back and I didn't think about it. Uh, but yeah, milling is definitely good for me. <laughs> Not milling is kind of bad for me. So uh, that's a yikes. <laughs> uh, but let's see what we can do here. Uh, yeah, because if I mill, that means I can evolve into Beelzemon way faster. And evolving into Beelzemon gives me way more control on the board. It also means that I'm less likely to have a rookie on board at all times, which is really nice. We did get another Imon though. So let's see what happens now. Uh, do we want to attack first? I don't see too much of an issue attacking. I kind of want to attack early against this deck before he gets out the guy that can stop me from attacking. Uh, I don't. I could play Jack's Raid. Another reason why milling would have been better is so I can actually activate my Jack Raid as well. Uh, I could play down the Chimeramon to get some of my own Digimon. I'm just going to attack first. Uh, I, pr I just choose not to delete anything to resuspend because it doesn't really feel like a point. We'll just evolve into Chimeramon here. Double Jack Raid. We are prepared once we have once we need a turn to start being able to do stuff so we'll see what we can do here for now he's still setting up his board uh this is the cool i love playing these style of control decks that just uh, delete your digimon before they can do much with them he's got a hammer spark in though i know that blue decks play less and less hammer spark nowadays i think this deck's only playing two or three not the full four uh, yeah he's just deciding where he wants to evolve his stuff but he's like oh wait 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 no because he knows that he lose next turn if he doesn't get rid of this, if he doesn't put a blocker on board right now. Although he's still very likely to lose anyways, because I have like four attacks next turn. 
And even if he has a hex of Blaumon, if he can't discard my my uh my stuff, it's gonna be kind of awkward for him. I'm guessing he's choosing to do it now. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get rid of that one. Okay, sounds good. Security check, no problem. He stays alive. Can he evolve? He would need to get another hammer spark, and then evolve into uh, Monzaemon into the Hexablaumon. Uh, but he doesn't have it, so we're gonna go ahead and proceed to possibly destroy if things go well. We'll see what happens. We attack with Chimeramon first. All right, no problem. We attack and we delete our own Chimeramon to, uh, uns to unsuspend, and then we attack again for a game, really slowing down our opponent's our opponent's presence so that we can dominate the games. But you guys know how what to do. Drop a like if you like this kind of content. Let me know if you guys like the battles or if you're better off just like me linking a stream of like me playing this deck for like three or four hours. Um, or if you like more of like, you know, looking at the battles and going from there. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, share all that good jazz, and I will see you guys next time.